Now for the race to the White House. Before Hillary Clinton is even officially in it, another controversy is bubbling up. While she was Secretary of State, the Clinton Charitable Foundation stopped, for the most part, taking donations from foreign governments. And it says it will likely do the same again if she runs for president. But what about donations from foreign companies linked to their governments? Juliana Goldman is looking into this. I am very proud of the work the foundation does. I'm very proud of the hundreds of thousands of people who support the work of the foundation. Since its founding, the Clinton Foundation has raised at least $42 million from foreign governments. And according to an analysis by CBS News, at least $170 million from foreign individuals, organizations, and companies covering a range of industries, such as banking, energy, and shipping. We're now up to more than 3,100 commitments. Like Relin Enterprises, a Chinese construction and trade conglomerate that pledged $2 million to the Clinton Foundation in 2013. It's run by billionaire Wang Wenlang, who's a delegate to the Chinese parliament, and the firm was one of the contractors that built the Chinese embassy. You want to have the closest security and intelligence connections with the company that's going to build your embassy. Jim Mann has written several books on China's relationship with the U.S. If the point is that you're not going to take money from foreign governments, then his construction company is as close to not just the Chinese government, but its Ministry of State Security as they could possibly be. In a statement, a Relin spokesperson said Wang has a long history of generous philanthropic giving, and the Clinton Foundation is one of the many organizations Mr. Wang has donated to. Even so, the company has faced a history of complaints regarding its treatment of construction workers at its various building sites. Documents show Relin was cited twice by Jersey City officials for housing workers in crowded conditions. The company says the charges from 2011 were settled and the 2013 charges were dismissed. Campaign finance laws prohibit foreign interests from investing in U.S. elections. And, Scott, the concern is that a donor today could be looking for something in return from a future president. Thanks, Juliana.